Prince Harry's lawyer revealed the Duke of Sussex still holds very close to his heart the UK during a court hearing in London on Friday. Prince Harry expressed his desire to return to England to see his family and friends as well as visit his beloved charities and associations through his lawyer during a preliminary hearing at the Royal Courts of Justice in London. Prince Harry has launched a claim for a judicial review of the Home Office's decision not to allow him to pay for police protection while he and his family are in the UK. The Duke of Sussex, who did not attend the hearing, does not feel safe in the UK under the current security arrangements, Harry's lawyer Shahid Fatima QC claimed while introducing the case. She said, this claim is about the fact that the claimant does not feel safe when he is in the UK given the security arrangement supplied to him in June 2021 and will continue to be applied to him. She continued, it goes without saying that he does want to come back to see family and friends and to continue to support the charities that are so close to his heart. Most of all, this is and always will be, his home. During the first hearing on the case, the court heard an application by both sides for some parts of the court documents in the case to be kept private. Robert Palmer QC, for the Home Office, said there was near total agreement about what aspects of the documents should be redacted. This hearing comes after in mid-January a representative for the Duke of Sussex issued a lengthy statement speaking about what brought Harry to challenge the Home Office's decision. In this statement, it was claimed the Duke inherited a security risk at birth, set to last for his whole life no matter his current status within the royal family. It continued, he remains sixth in line to the throne, served two tours of combat duty in Afghanistan, and in recent years his family has been subjected to well-documented neo-Nazi and extremist threats. While his role within the institution has changed, his profile as a member of the royal family has not. Nor has the threat to him and his family. The statement continued saying the Duke and Duchess fund their own private security for their family in the US, but this team can't replicate their needed level of protection while the Sussexes are in Britain. Therefore, the Duke first asked for the possibility to personally pay for UK police protection in January two years ago, but his offer hasn't yet been accepted. The decision over his security does not depend on Buckingham Palace but on Preeti Patel's office. Harry's bid for a review of the Home Office's decision was filed in September last year. Permission for a full hearing has not yet been granted or denied. The January statement said the Duke's goal is to ensure the safety of himself and his family while in the UK so his children can know his home country. The statement also said the Duke's security was compromised due to the absence of police protection during his last visit to the UK in the summer of 2021. It is believed the statement referred to Harry's attendance at the Well Child Awards hosted at Kew Gardens on June 30 last year. The Duke had travelled across the pond at the time to take part in the unveiling of the statue of Princess Diana he commissioned alongside Prince William in 2017. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle lost taxpayer-funded police protection at the end of March 2020, after they officially stepped down as senior royals. Since then, Harry only returned twice to England, for a few days last summer and, prior to that, in April last year to attend the funeral of Prince Philip. In past months, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been tipped to return for a number of key occasions. Last September, it was claimed Harry wanted to hold the christening of his daughter Lilibet Diana, born in June, at Windsor. The Duke has also been tipped for a UK return next month, when the royal family is to gather at Westminster Abbey for a service of thanksgiving in the run-up to the first anniversary of the death of the Duke of Edinburgh. Another key reason why Prince Harry may want to travel back to the UK with his family this year is the Platinum Jubilee. The Queen's historic year started on February 6, the 70th anniversary of her accession to the throne. But the firm and the country will come together to properly celebrate this milestone during a long bank holiday weekend in June, during which royals are expected to appear together on the Buckingham Palace balcony and attend a service at St Paul's Cathedral among other engagements.